What's wrong? Huh? It's boiling in here. It's freezing in the indoor hall and boiling here. Yes. Recovery. Yeah. Compass. <laughs> Do to put this on or not? So, we'll just put that on if we have any Portuguese yeah. um, questions. Cool. Hey, guys. Um, Dame, shall we start with you? Yeah, sure. Hi. 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 Okay. Um, just reflecting on the weekend, really good weekend for Arsenal, your, your top of the league. How much confidence do you take from that going into tomorrow night? I think we take a lot of good things from that game. I think it was a really good um, practice um, for this game coming up. I think we had to deal with a lot of different <laughs> situations, a lot of time wasting. And um, yeah, we had to c control our emotions the whole game and I think we did that brilliantly. So yeah, I think it was a really good practice for for another big game and uh, and we did really well. And uh, as you say, top of, of top of the table. So of course we have to build on on that momentum and and the good feeling we have at the moment so yeah that's the goal to keep that going with the premier league the outside noise seems to be focused on liverpool and manchester city Sorry. with the champions league it seems to be focused on city and real madrid does that suit you and arsenal sorry can you repeat that again sorry. so the outside noise seems to be focused on liverpool and city predominantly as far as the premier league is concerned and city and real madrid to a certain extent with the champions yeah. league does that yeah. going under the radar a little bit? Yeah, to be honest, I don't know if, if that's the case. I haven't <laughs> thought about it that way, but I think all the big teams, they play with so much pressure. I think when you play in the biggest league like we do at the moment, um, there's always big pressure and you have to deal with it. It's the same for Champions League, the biggest tournament, you know, so playing big games, playing in a big team, um, there's always a lot of pressure and you have to deal with it. Um, it's just a part of football and I think we're, we're all so used to that now, so... Um, yeah, it's just a part of the game and uh, and we enjoy that pressure as well, you know. You came so close last season. What feels different this time around? What do you think you've learned? I think, first of all, we're a better team. Um, of course, we've made some good signings, but also the, the experience, uh, what we learned last season. I think we've been using that in a good way going into this season. And uh, I feel like I've said that many times, you know, I feel like that's what we've done the last few years. Uh, missing out of the Champions League the year before we came back stronger and then last season obviously was a really tough end for, for all of us but I think uh, I think we've learned a good lesson and uh, and hopefully now coming towards the end of the season we can we can show that and uh, and use it in a, in a good way Just the final one for me that Porto game away from home just seems to stand out compared to everything else that has happened mm. since <coughs> the FA Cup tie against Liverpool what do you feel you need to do differently what went wrong there compared to your league form? Yeah, I think we spoke about it a little bit already after the game, um, but we didn't play our best game. Um, we weren't good enough on the ball, um, and uh, we've looked at all those things. And and straight after the game, I think all the players we just spoke together and, and knew what we had to do different already. Um, but yeah, as you say, it's, it's the only game we didn't win now in the, in this year, so. I think that's that's enough motivation, you know, to come back and and show a different side tomorrow. So we're all really really ready for the game and and hyped up. So it's going to be a good one. Thank you. Good luck. Thank Thanks, you. Mark. Right, Martin. Do you Thanks. think after what happened in the way the team lost in Porto, that there's a, there might, there might be something to prove almost tomorrow? Um. Yeah. I mean, every time you play, you want to prove something. I think. Um, as you say, especially after what what happened there, and uh, if you compare that game to the other games we played recently, it's uh, as you say the one that stands out. But um, as I said, I think the feeling after the game was that we weren't good enough ourselves, and that's a good thing. We can change ourselves, and um, that's what we're going to try to do tomorrow. You know, we've we've looked at the game we played there. Uh, we all have the feeling what we have to do different, so we have that very clear, and um, and uh, and yeah, we are so ready. Most of the team that would be involved tomorrow night won't remember when Arsenal last got to the, the quarterfinals. Is there a bit of a, a weight of history on you guys, or do you have to forget about what, what's gone in the past? I think you can't think too much about the past, but obviously you want to keep building your your own history and and we want to do some amazing things with this team and um, and that's our goal, that's our focus um, to focus on us at the moment and uh, as you say, it's, it's something really nice to play for uh, to go through in this tournament you know um, it's a big goal and a big dream I think for all the players playing in football today you know to go far in this competition so yeah that's a massive motivation for all of us and that's what we're playing for
James. Cheers. Hi, Martin. Hello. There were 36 fouls in the first game, which is the most there's been in any Champions League game this season. Balls in play for about 50 minutes, which was way down in the average. Mm. When you've watched it back and you reflect on that now, do the players have to handle that kind of gamesmanship a little bit better if it happens again tomorrow? Yeah, of course. I think... Um, as you say, you know, there's so many different things going on in, in each game and uh, yeah, this game was uh, was one where the ball was out of play a lot and um, and a lot of stops and starts and restarts and all this and I think you saw that also against Brentford, you know, it was a similar game and as, as I said in, in the beginning here, I think we we dealt with it in a, in a brilliant way and, uh, and yeah, as I said, I think that was a good practice, you know, and uh, I think we already showed in that game what we learned in uh, in Porto. So hopefully we can do that even better tomorrow. And uh, first of all, we we want to play our game. You know, we don't want to focus too much about them and what they are doing, but we want to play our game, and uh, and that's the main thing. Jordan, okay. hi Martin. Um, oh. When you made your big move at a very young age, it was expected that you'd be playing Champions League knockouts, you know, for a bit almost. Can I just ask you, during those years where you were on loan and not playing away from Real Madrid and far away from that stage. You know, how far away did it feel for you? Did it, and did you always believe you would get back there? Um, yeah, I always believed that I was going to um, uh, make it, if you can say it that way, but to play big, big games and Champions League, you know, in the biggest leagues and, and all that, I always had that belief, but I think football is just um, doesn't always go as you expect. Um, of course, when I signed for Madrid, the, the plan was not to go on loan in in the Netherlands or in Spain or whatever. But um, that's football and that's life. Something something happens and you have to deal with it. And I think that's that's what I've done well. You know, on my road, I've just dealt with everything that happened to me and worked hard and and found my found my way. You know, so yeah, I think it's all a part of your journey and you have to deal with it. And I think all the things that happened to me made me stronger and and a better player and a person today. I just wanted to ask you about the level of responsibility that the manager gives you. Um, since since January, you know yourself, White, Saka, looks like things have been clicked, but how much is he giving you responsibility on the pitch? I think he's given all of us that responsibility, you know. Um, I think he wants us to play with that feeling that we can... Uh, you know, do whatever we feel is right. Uh, of course, he's giving us all the instructions and the game plan and all the tactical things, but in the end, we're on the pitch and, and he wants us to make the the decisions. Uh, he can't do that on the pitch, so uh, I think that's something we, we all do, you know, when we're on the pitch, we want to take that responsibility and and make sure we do the right things. Um, but yeah, of course, as, as a captain, I try to do that even more and, uh, and uh, yeah, to always help the team to make the right calls uh, on the pitch and to read the game and, and live the game in the right way, you know. I just wanted to quickly ask you about a picture on social media that's going around um, of the whiteboard with all the Arsenal players saying how it feels to play at the Emirates. I just wanted to ask you, were you involved in that? No, I don't, don't really know what that is, no. <laughs> yeah. It was going around, I just wanted to know whether that yeah. was something. Yeah, no, okay. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know. Kaya, yeah. so yeah, to you. I'm not a second. Um, obviously, I've club for many years with a fantastic history in this competition in Real Madrid. I just wonder... Being around that, what did you learn? And now that you're the one playing in these knockout games and then starting these knockout games, so it sort of made you feel a bit like you got unfinished business in this competition and you want to put something right? Um, yeah, first of all, I didn't play too many games with, with Madrid, you know, in the Champions League, but I played a few. And uh, um, yeah, I think being there and, and learning from, from the best players and, and to see everything they do, of course, was. Um, was something really special for me and I think I as I said I learned a lot and I grew a lot in that period and um, I think you always saw that you know when the big game was coming up and Champions League was just like a different gear there but um, I think the main thing for us is to, is to do it our way and uh, we have to do it the Arsenal way and play our football and um, and yeah that's that's what I want to focus on now you know so um, yeah I just want to use everything I've learned and the whole team wanting to want to use everything we've learned and, and hopefully put on a great performance tomorrow. You see those qualities of, you mentioned going to an extra gear when the Champions League knockout games come. Do you see those qualities in this the Arsenal thing now? I think all the games are so big, you know. I think every game is a, is a massive game. Um, at the moment, as I said, we're playing for so much, you know. So, um, yeah, it's basically the same for every game, you know. It's, it's always a big game now. And, uh, and that's our mindset. We want to, every game we play, we want to win. And... Uh, that's the mindset and tomorrow is, is the same.
Simon? When we heard from Mikel after the first leg, he spoke about a few things about not being aggressive enough with the ball and things you didn't do. Is it important tomorrow that when you come off the pitch, you don't have any regrets about the way you played? Yeah, of course. I think... Um, that was one of the things we spoke about straight away after the game as well, you know, the intentions we had with the ball and yeah, we didn't, I don't know, I don't think we had a shot on target or something in, in that game. Um, so yeah, it was not it was not really our game, our football, so that's what we want to change tomorrow, you know, and uh, yeah, we know all the qualities we have, um, we know how good we are when we play um, on our best and that's what we're going to try to do tomorrow, you know. Um, again, I think it will be an amazing atmosphere. Uh, I think it will be a, yeah, a beautiful night, so hopefully we can do that. Yeah, just on the atmosphere, how have you noticed it shift from when you were first here to now? And do you feel it's, it's become a more intimidating place for teams to come and more of a fortress for you? Yeah, I think it's, it's a massive thing for us. Um, the, the supporters, you know what they're doing. Uh, as you said, the difference from when I first came here and... and and to now, you know, we're we're doing this together, and I think that's that's what's so special. And I feel like every time we go out there now, we have, you know, that extra gear, that extra boost, you know, coming from the fans. Um, if you're a bit tired and and you get that, you feel better straight away, you know. So yeah, they're helping us so much, and and I'm sure tomorrow they're going to be on fire again. So can't wait. Just lastly, the Arsenal in terms of Europe haven't won a major European trophy for you as players. Do you see that as something exciting that you know you have that opportunity to to make history rather than thinking you know the pressure that no one's ever done this before? Yeah, I mean as I said before, uh, we have to focus on ourselves and we have to focus on on what we can do and the history we can do. You know, so uh, that's our goal. Uh, we're Arsenal. We want to win trophies and we want to fight at the biggest stage and play the biggest game. So yeah, tomorrow is a great chance to to show that. Okay, last two on this side, so Isan first and then we'll come across. Hi Martin. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, Mikel made a joke about pinching players in training to teach them the dark acts. So ahead of the game, I'm sure um, it will be a very feisty uh, encounter. What kind of things have you done to prepare for like, the dark arts kind of thing of the game? I think it's it's just uh, a part of football, you know, you have to deal with a lot of different things. You play against different teams um, that approach, approach you in a different way and it's not like we've done anything crazy. We're just pre preparing for the games we play, and and that's all. And yeah, as I said before, the main thing is to focus on ourselves, um, to focus on all the things we can do, all the things we can control, and um, and that's what we're going to try and do tomorrow. And uh, and uh, hopefully, it'll be a, a good night then. So, um, Porto centre back Pepe, he's forty-one, the same age as you boss Mikel. What's he bring to the table, and what's he like to play against from the pitch? From the from the stand, it does seem to be quite aggressive, kind of. Yeah. yeah, I think I have so much respect for him. You know, I, I played with him a bit in Madrid as well, and and I know him from that time. So he's a great guy, and uh, what he's doing now, you know, at that age, is uh, yeah, <laughs> a lot of respect to him to to be able to keep going like that. So great player, um, aggressive, strong in the duels, and uh, yeah, great defender. So um, he's a good player, and uh, and fair play to him for for keeping it going so long. Hi Martin, um, we just had Mick Allen here and he spoke about the unity of the team at the moment, how strong that bond is between the players. I just wondered what does it feel like being part of this team at the moment, especially as the club captain, and how do you try and foster that unity <coughs> yourself among the players? Yeah, I think the 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 bond we have, you know, the team uh, spirit and, uh, and the team feeling we have is, is unbelievable. Um, yeah, it's the best the best I've seen in in my life being in in a team, you know. So uh, there we have something special for sure, and um, I think you can see that on the pitch now as well. Um, how much we enjoy playing together, and um, I think you can see more and more how we understand each other on the pitch, um, how we move in relation to to each other, and and all those things. So I think that's that's a brilliant thing, you know, to to be strong as a team, and um, and I think you can see that on the pitch now as well. Cool. Last couple on this side, so we'll go to Sam. Hi, Martin. Uh, before the second half started on Saturday, I saw you whipping up the crowd before the ball got kicked. Mm -hmm. How much did you sort of need to do that? How much do you feel like you need that sort of crowd support behind the team? Yeah, I think it's a, it's a massive thing for us playing at the Emirates. Um, all the games we've played there now recently has been unbelievable, the atmosphere. Um, I think I said it after the Liverpool game was maybe the best atmosphere I've seen in my life and then 
come again Newcastle and it's unbelievable and, and now Brentford and it's unbelievable and uh, yeah they, they they give us so much you know the fans the energy they make um, sometimes you feel a bit tired sometimes you feel a bit down but then you hear that from the crowd and it gets the team going so yeah it's it's a special feeling to play there and as I said I'm sure they're going to be on fire again tomorrow so so yeah I'm looking forward to that sometimes fans aren't that patient if you haven't scored in the first four minutes yeah. you'll get hit Agitated. <laughs> Would you say that they need to sort of stay calm as well? Yeah, but I think I think they know what we need. You know, um, we've played some games there where we've where we've conceded goals, um, and the fans start cheering for us. You know, so um, yeah, the support we have is is just unbelievable. So I'm not I'm not too worried about that. George, Martin, I just just simple question: How much are you enjoying playing for Arsenal at the moment? Because it seems like the team are just playing brilliantly. Apart from that Porto game, but a joy to watch as well. So, just what's it like for you to be captain this team and, and play in this team at the moment? Yeah, I love it. I mean, um, yeah, it's a, an amazing team to be a part of. Uh, as I said here already, the group we have is is very special. Uh, the bond we have, um, we're really together, and uh, of course, the football we're playing, I think, really suits myself and and of course the other players we have. So, yeah, we, we love it and. Uh, and um, we're doing well at the moment, but still, I feel like we can do uh, a lot of things better, and uh, and that's the mindset we have as well. So it's it's, it's a great team and a great, great club to be a part of, and uh, yeah, I, I enjoy it. You played with Pepe nine years ago, so um, two questions in one. Really, did you still expect him to be playing now? And how many dark <laughs> arts did he teach you when you were at Bilbao? <laughs> yeah, I don't know what I expected to be honest. He was always uh, a very professional guy, you know, taking care of his body and. Uh, and then working hard, so um, I'm not surprised he he's playing. At, um, I don't know if I expected this age, but I expected him to to keep on playing for a while. But um, as I said before, a lot of respect to him for doing that, and uh, and I think it takes a lot of hard work. So so fair play to him. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what I learned. To be honest, I learned a lot of things there, and uh, and from him as well. He tried to help me with a lot of things. He's a really nice guy. So. So yeah, I learned uh, I learned some things. Yeah. Cool. Last couple, Davide. Hi Martin. Uh, when the season started, one of the issues you guys had in the Champions League was your inexperience. You seem to have been growing as a group together. Now we are, you know, not around. Mm. What do you think the team has learned playing the Champions League, and what do you think you need to learn to, you know, go to the next stage? Um. Yeah, I think a lot of people have been speaking uh, about us as a as a young team and experienced team, but. I think experience is not about age. I think it's about what you've been through. And if you look at our team, we have so many players who's been through a lot already. And as a team as well, we've been through a lot of things already. So um, yeah, I think that's that's what we have to use. You know that in a good way. All the things that happen to us. And um, and uh, as I said, experience you can get in many ways. So um, yeah, what we've been through, uh, what we're doing as a team, that's that's our main focus, you know, and and to keep building on that every day and to keep pushing each other every day, and uh, and then we have to to show on the pitch what we're worthy of doing, you know. Cool. And last one from Jordan. Um, you're quite a young captain, and you'll be leading out Arsenal in a Champions League match at home. It'd be really proud moment for you. But how do you keep your own emotions in check? How do you stay calm? Um. It's not something I I think too much about, to be honest. I think it's, uh, yeah, when I play football, I just get into my zone, you know, and it's something that comes to me uh, in a natural way. So um, I love playing football. I love playing these games. You know, we're all so excited to play another big game um, at home, uh, evening game, you know. So, yeah, I think that's the main feeling, you know, excited. And, um, yeah, just try to do what we always do, you know, play our game, um, focus on ourselves and... Uh, and then I'm sure it's going to be a, a good night. And did you dream of these moments as a young kid growing up in the yeah. world? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, of course. Of course, I think uh, when I was growing up, I was watching all the English teams, you know, the Premier League and, and Champions League, if, if my parents let me stay up for, for that long. So, so yeah, I've been dreaming of playing at this this stage for yeah my whole life, basically. So, yeah, we have to enjoy it and, um, and make sure we we give everything. Cool. Thank, Thank you. you, guys. Cheers, guys. Thank you.